G'day everyone, welcome back to Keep On Collecting. Well, you might have known that uh, me and the boys uh, a couple of weeks ago, we went to the toy show and there I picked up some G.I. Joe vehicles. Um, one of them was the uh, 1986 Havoc and um, I had one at home that was um, incomplete. So I thought, oh, there's good spares there to um, complete my one. But both of them are really dirty and grotty and uh, the canopies were all misty and sort of scratched. And I wanted to do it justice, so I pulled it all apart. And um, I just want to show you some of the uh, cleaning techniques I've been um, doing to um, get a good one and put it on show. So we'll have a look and I'll, I'll show you those techniques. And at the end of it, hopefully we've got a nice new looking Havoc. Let's get into it. So here's all the Havoc pulled apart. So they had a little vehicle that was inside. Now I tried to pull this one apart, but it's got these really one-way clips and I didn't want to break them because this plastic is um, quite brittle actually, even because they're quite old toys. I mean from 86. So I'll just wash those ones um, like they are and let them dry. Um, there's the front tracks, um, as you can see. Now, I didn't break these getting these off. These were actually already broken because they're very, very fragile. And if people try to pull them out in an incorrect way, they, they will break. So with the front ones, I got some of my tweezers and I sort of uh, closed the, the little orifices there up and they slipped through. So that worked lovely. Um, these other ones. These are all the plates that go on the sides of the track. Uh, the little hatch doors that open up to let the vehicle out. And then you can see the, the gunner's seat there. So um, we'll get them cleaned up and uh, start putting these beasts back together. Now the Havoc's all apart. I'll just show you how dirty these things are. You can just see that you can see on there how, how much dirt and grime builds up on these toys. And to clean them uh, to a, sort of back to new, you've got to really pull all the parts off. So the canopy's off, the, the little seat where the guns are off, and uh, everything's off underneath as well. Uh, this bit's all right because it's just clipped in there that can stay in there. So, and how do we get them clean? Well, I use a, you've probably heard it before, but uh, liquid sugar soap. So you can get that from the supermarket. Um, you just put a like a, a tablespoon in some hot water and use a nice soft cloth like a chucks or something like that and it gets that dirt right off it really cleans it quite well and uh, so what I'll do is I'll wash all these parts and we'll have a look at them after that and then I can show you um, how I get these canopies clean um, after there's there's one that's all grotty so how to get them clean and so let's go from there now I did say chucks to clean them in the sink with the uh, sugar soap but actually these parts have got a lot of uh, detail in them so I, I think a nice soft old toothbrush uh, will do the trick and it really gets off those if you try to do it here with one hand as I hold the camera it really gets off that uh, that dirt so I'll, I'll wash all these up and I can show you the difference there. You can, I mean, you can see the dirt on them in there. And, but this sugar soap is really amazing. It, it cleans the dirt and any sort of fat residue are, are right off them. So um, I'll clean them up and I can show you the difference. All right, I've washed them all up now on the sugar soap. And just look at the difference in the cleanliness of it. It, it come out like brand new plastic really cleaned it up that sugar soaps so that's excellent so we'll put it back together now i mean i have got two as i've explained before um to make a better one out of it
The next step I'm going to do is um, put the canopy on and uh, the, the and then the uh, gun goes over the canopy. But <clears throat> what I'll do is show you um, uh, the two canopies and the one I cleaned up with with um, some just some um, uh, car polish, uh, some car polish. So uh, so I'll just show you, I'll push, push this to the side and I'll show you. So I've got, because I've got two vehicles, got two canopies. Now, they were both in this condition. You can see there, they were, with these these types of plastics you get on toys, they become this grotty and this smoky type of look. They get scratches and things like that. So with a nice soft uh, microfiber cloth like that, I just got some of the automotive car polish. Um, uh, it's a very, it's a fine cut one. And um, gave it a clean up. And there's the one I've cleaned up. You can see the difference just with that automotive car polish. Now, I uh, I haven't got with me uh, at the moment. I have to buy some. And that's some Jewelers Rouge. Now, Jewelers Rouge is a cream they, the Jewelers use to clean up rings. Um, to get them that really ultra fine um, shine, polished shine on them. They usually put it, get it in a block, and have it on a buffing wheel, and um, and then they they buff the the jewelry. But um, you can just put a little bit on there and clean plastics up uh, relatively clear that you can't see the scratches anymore because it's a, such a fine cut. But as a temporary fix. The uh, car polish really works, and if you put them side by side, there you can you can see the if I can get out of this light, you can see the difference there. I mean, look at the the grottiness and the scratches. Even get through the scratches. So there you go. So I'll put them on, and um, and then we're nearly finished. We just have to put the the uh, the covers on the wheels and the weapons. Okay, and there it is. Just the last thing we have to do now, and that is I'll just have to choose uh, a good hover vehicle to, to go in out of the two. Um, they're pretty good. I think I'll go with the one that's got G.I. Joe, where the <laughs> little boys put the sticker on the front. So I'll go with that one. And that just lands reversed like this in the back. Underneath, beautiful. Well, I should say, lovely. And that is absolutely lovely. Because it fits in there nicely. And there you go. One complete havoc 
other than I should say I haven't got the driver. I do have to get the driver though, which is a shame. But other than that, it's turned out absolutely beautiful. There you go. A complete Havoc vehicle minus driver, of course, but I will pick him up on eBay, I think. So I really enjoyed doing that. Um, picking uh, uh, the good parts out of the two vehicles and putting together a really nice good one. And um, yeah, that, that, that was fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me clean and a, uh, restore a Havoc. And uh, for some more videos, make sure you check out our others on, the, on our site. Uh, subscribe and like, of course. And as Matt and I always say, keep on collecting. Nobody beats G.I. Joe! Yo, Joe!